In this video, we're going to discuss the addition rule, which is used for calculating probabilities of one event or, so or is the key word, another event. So the probability of A or B, you go to the addition rule. Okay, we'll define what the probability of A or B is uh, mathematically um, in, in a few minutes, but first let's go through this example. Okay, so we'll build up to what the definition is. So um, we have a box that contains 10 red balls, okay, 5 red blocks, 15 yellow balls, and 20 yellow blocks. And um, first thing that we're going to try to figure out the probability is, is the probability of selecting a red toy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write this here. So the event is getting a red toy. All right, so if we get a red toy, that means we either got a red ball or a red block, right? So there you go, there's that word or. So this is the probability of getting a red ball, okay, or a red um, block. Okay, if you get red ball or red block, you'll be happy, you got a red toy. Okay, so now let's find the probability of getting a red toy. Now we can actually we can think about this. If we, if we uh, add up the probability of getting a red ball to the probability of getting a red block, that will be the probability of getting a red ball or a red block. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that down. This is going to be equal to the probability of getting a red ball, then adding that to the probability of getting a red block. Okay, so if either situation happens, we're good, so we can just add up these probabilities. Okay, now, so what's the probability of getting a red ball? Okay, so we're going to use the um, classical approach to probability, where we count the number of red balls in the sample space, and we divide that by the total number of possibilities in the sample space. So um, we have 10 red balls in, in the sample space, and uh, how many balls are there total, or how many toys are there total? Uh, it looks like 25, it looks like 50 total. 50 toys total. So 10 divided by 50. Okay, and let's add that to the probability of getting a red block. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, of course, it says over there. So there's five. Five out of 50, right? So there's 15 out of 50 red toys, right? And you can see that. You can count those. That adds up to 15 out of the 50 that are red. Okay, so there we go. We could, 15 out of 50, we could also plug that into a calculator and report it as a decimal. So 0.3. So the probability of getting a red toy is 0.3. All right, and let's go on to the next, next problem. Let's find the probability of getting a ball. All right, so this time, probability of getting a ball. All right, so if we look back into our box, um, let's see, there's red balls and there's yellow balls. So either one will work. So if we take this as the probability of getting a red ball or a yellow ball, then we'll end up getting a ball, right, either way. All right. So again, we can just break this down it, into the sum of the two probabilities. So the probability of getting a yellow ball. Okay, so this or basically uh, broke down into the, prop the the sum of the two probabilities. Okay, so the probability of getting a red ball, red ball. Well, there's ten out of fifty. Ten out of fifty are red. How many yellow balls? Probability of getting a yellow ball. There's 15 out of 50. Okay, so that'll be 25 out of 50, right? 10 plus 15 is 25. All right, so there's 25 balls, right? We could have just counted that up and saw, okay, there's 25 balls there. So probability of getting a ball is 25 out of 50, which is 0.5 or one half. All right, so probability of getting a ball. Put your hand in that box and pull out a toy. It's one half. All right. 
Okay, let's do one more example where we, we're trying to find the probability of selecting a ball or a red toy. So let's go ahead and write that down. The probability of getting a ball or red toy. Okay, in the previous two examples, we broke this down as saying the probability of a ball plus the probability of a red toy. Let's see if that works here. So red toy. Right. So the probability of getting a ball, let's see, there's 15 yellow balls, 10 red balls. So let's go ahead and write that. 15 plus 10 divided by 50. Okay, now let's go ahead and add on, let me use a different color, um, probability of a red toy. So let's see, red toys. There's five red blocks, and then there's 10 red um, balls. So 10 plus 5 over 50. Now something something happened here we need to be really careful about. You, do you notice we added in this 10 twice? Right? It's the same 10. That's the 10. That's the number of red balls. Right? So the probability of getting a, re a ball or a red toy, well, really what we should be doing is just adding up the number of balls and, and uh, red toys, right? So that would just be 10 plus 5 plus 15 over 50, right? So 10 plus 5 plus 15. So I have two 10s here. So I, I need to get rid of this by subtracting off 10 over 50, right? So that means I need to subtract off the probability of being a red toy and a ball. Right, because being a red toy and a ball got counted in twice. It got it was included in this probability and it was included in that probability. So if I should just subtract it off once, then I'll then I'll have you know just one of the tens there. So I need to subtract off the probability of being a red toy and a ball. Okay. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and calculate this. So this would be. 15 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 minus 10 uh, should add up to um, 30, right? Because this 25 plus 15 minus 10 is 30, okay? 30 over 50, so this comes out to be 0.6. Okay, so in general, Okay, I mentioned that we're going to bring up the rule in general for the addition rule. In general, this is the addition rule. We kind of built, built up to it in those examples. The probability of A or B, probability of A or B, this is the addition rule, equals the probability of A plus the probability of B but then you have to be careful that if there is a probability of having, you know, being both A and B, you gotta subtract that off. So the prob subtract off the probability of A and B. Okay? Now in parts A and B of our example, we didn't have to subtract off this probability of being A and B. And why is that? Well, in part C of our example, you could be both a red red toy and a ball, right? There are red balls. However, in part A and B, um, you can't be both a red ball and a red block at the same time. So that's why we didn't have to worry about subtracting off the probability of being a red ball and a red block, because you can only be either a ball or a block. Okay, same thing goes for um, the probability of selecting a ball. You're either red or yellow. There's can't be both red and yellow. A toy cannot be both red and yellow, so that's why we didn't have to subtract off the probability of being red and yellow. All right. Um, so actually, this um, you know having this prob if this probability equals zero, as it does in the first two examples, um, if the probability of A and B equals zero. Um, then the events A and B are mutually exclusive. Okay, so this is a definition. Um, mutually exclusive. 
Um, also, this is commonly called disjoint. Okay, so disjoint and mutually, mutually exclusive are the same thing. All right, so um, probability of A and B um, equaling zero uh, only when um, events A and B are disjoint. So if you were to draw a Venn diagram of um, you know this is this sort of situation. You know you, here's all the events A, and then here's all the events B. There's absolutely no overlap. 